Fishing in Valheim has changed a lot since my last video on it. While that older video is still helpful if you just want the spoiler free basics on how to fish, I know there's a lot of you who want all of the new fishy details. But just a quick spoiler warning, I will be talking about fish from biomes you might not have explored yet. You've been warned. Before the latest Missilens update, there were only three fish in the game. Perch, Pike and Tuna. Now, there are 12 total types of fish, including Trollfish, Giant Herring, Tetra, Grouper, Pufferfish, Anglerfish, Magmafish, Northern Salmon and Coral Cod. While Perch, Pike and Tuna can still be caught with the basic bait from Haldor, the nine new fish types can only be caught using one of the eight new varieties of craftable fishing bait added to the game. Each of these new baits can be crafted at the cauldron and correspond to the biome where that bait is intended to be used. Mossy for the black forest, sticky for the swamps, cold for the mountain, stingy for the plains, misty for the mistlands, hot for the ashlands, frosty for the deep north, and heavy for the ocean. But in order to craft all of these baits and catch all the different types of fish, you'll need to get your hands on a fishing rod and the basic fishing bait, and you'll need to follow the new fishing progression system in the game. As before, the fishing rod and basic fishing bait can't be crafted and can currently only be obtained one of two ways, both of which require quite a bit of luck and perseverance. The first and most common way to get the fishing rod and basic bait is to buy it, from the elusive merchant Haldor. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut to finding Haldor. Each world seed has 10 possible spawn points for him, all within the Black Forest biome. The first of these 10 possible spawn points that you come within around 400 meters of will become the sole location of Haldor within your world. When this happens, a bag icon will appear on your map, showing you where you'll be able to find him. Haldor sells a variety of special items, some of which you'll need to defeat specific bosses to unlock. However, both the fishing rod and basic bait are available to be purchased from the start of the game. Haldor will sell you the fishing rod for 350 coins and 50 basic fishing bait for just 10 coins. Quite the bargain. The second way to obtain the fishing rod and a few scraps of basic bait is to find them deep within a rare type of frost cave. If you're lucky, you'll find the rod and bait next to a frozen lake in a large open cavern. Next to the rod, you'll find its previous owner, or what remains of them, along with an unlit campfire and their final thoughts, carved onto a runestone. These special frost caves only occur once, maybe twice per world seed, so good luck finding one. Once you've got your fishing rod, head down to some water where you can see some fish. The fish you see in the water are what you'll actually be catching, so if you can't see anywhere you are, try a different area for the time being. Equip the fishing rod from your inventory along with your choice of fishing bait, making sure that you have enough inventory space for the caught fish. Press the left mouse button to cast your line. The longer you hold it, the further it will go, up to about 25 meters. If you've chosen the correct bait for the fish, they should begin to investigate it. When you see a splash at the bait, right click to hook the fish. Continue to hold the right mouse button to reel in the catch. When the fish you're reeling in is close enough, you'll be able to pick it off your line but if you continue to reel it in, it will be automatically picked up. You'll notice that reeling in a fish will deplete your stamina. If you run out of stamina, the fish will escape, so it's a good idea to eat some stamina-rich foods before you start fishing. Fishing has now also been made into its own skill, which as you level up will increase the speed you reel in a catch, as well as reduce the stamina used. As before, fish can also be picked up if they get washed up or stranded on land. Just pick them up with E. With the new update, fish can also now jump, making it even more likely for them to make their way onto land, or straight into your boat. You can even catch them midair if you're quick enough. Prior to this update, catching or picking up a fish would just add raw fish to your inventory, but now you'll find the actual fish in your inventory instead. You can even chuck them back or move them into your own little pond, and they'll be just fine. You'll also notice that fish now have different quality levels, as indicated by the number next to them, and their size. Larger and higher level fish will be considerably harder to pull in, requiring much higher stamina levels and fishing skill. The highest level fish I've found so far are level 5, but there could very well be even bigger fish to fry. Fish can still be turned into raw fish, but you'll now have to do this one by one at the cauldron. You can't currently pick which fish in your inventory you turn into raw fish, 
so if you have several on you, note that the game will turn them into raw fish in the following order, starting with the lowest level fish of that type. This raw fish can then be fed to your good doggos or cooked to produce cooked fish or fish wraps. All level 1 fish will give you one raw fish, but just as how creatures with higher star levels give you more drops, larger, higher quality fish will give you much more raw fish. But I'm sure with your biggest catches, you'd much rather show them off. Yep, fish can now be displayed on the wall, and they'll even chat to you occasionally. Nice try, but to complete your collection, you'll have to follow the new fishing progression system, starting with the basic fishing bait from Haldor. This basic fishing bait will only catch perch, pike and tuna, but when you combine each of these fish with a specific creature trophy at the cauldron, you will create a new fishing bait. This new bait will enable you to catch a new fish from a more advanced biome, which you can then craft into a new fishing bait to catch a new fish from an even more advanced biome, and so on and so on. You'll also find, as you progress through the progression system and venture into more advanced biomes, the fish found in these later game biomes will become harder and harder to reel in, with endgame fish such as magma fish and northern salmon requiring more than four times as much stamina per second to reel in than perch. So if you're looking to add these more difficult fish to your collection, make sure you pack some high stamina food and try to get as close to the fish shoals as possible to reduce the distance you'll need to reel in. I'll now run through this new progression system biome by biome, so feel free to use the timestamps to avoid certain biomes you haven't explored yet. As mentioned, the fishing bait you buy from Haldorf for 10 coins can only be used to catch perch, pike and tuna. You can also use the 8 new craftable baits to catch these 3 fish, but from my playtesting, they only seem to take this bait about a third of the time, so probably best just to stick to the basic bait. Perch are found in shallow waters, close to shore or in streams and rivers, in either the meadows, black forest or plains. Pike can also be found in the meadows, black forest or plains, but in deeper waters than perch, typically lakes, rivers and along the coast. Tuna on the other hand spawn in deep water in the ocean, but will often swim towards the coast and can even also be found in large lakes. Combining perch with a troll trophy will give you the mossy bait, which can be used in the black forest biome to catch the aptly named trollfish. These trollfish spawn in quite large groups, mainly along the shoreline, making them pretty hard to miss. Adding this trollfish to an abomination trophy will craft the sticky bait, which can be used to catch the giant herring of the swamps. The abomination trophy has a 50% drop rate, so you should only need to take down a couple of these to get your hands on one. If you're having trouble finding a giant herring in the swamps, they seem to be found a bit out from shore. And can you blame them? So try fishing for them in the surrounding waters, from a boat or raft. You may be thinking that a trip to the mountains biome is next, but no, combining the giant herring with a fueling trophy will give you the stingy bait. This bait can be used to catch the rather attractive looking grouper found along the shoreline in the plains biome. I wonder if real grouper are this cute. Oh, but before you leave the plains, you'll want to grab a Lox Trophy for the next fish in the progression line. This grouper, along with the Lox Trophy, will give you the Misty Bait, which can be used to catch the two types of fish that spawn in the Mistlands, Anglerfish and Pufferfish. Anglerfish may look scary, but at least currently, they're completely harmless to the player. One Anglerfish can be combined with two Bread Dough to produce fish and bread, currently the most stamina-rich food in the game. You do, however, need to be careful of pufferfish, which will poison you for 8 seconds if they jump out the water and hit you, or if you drop them. Pufferfish aren't currently used to craft any baits, but combining anglerfish with a circling trophy will produce the hot bait. This hot bait can be used to catch magma fish, found in the Ashlands, to the south of the Tenth World. The Ashlands is also currently home to Sirtlings, in case you forgot to bring a trophy, but as the Ashlands is one of the upcoming biomes, possibly the next biome after the Mistlands if the fishing progression is anything to go by, you may want to avoid exploring this biome too much, as already explored areas won't update when the new biome is updated. You'll need to make the journey south to the Ashlands before heading up to the deep north to catch the final fish in the main line of fish progression. Combining the magma fish with the drake trophy will give you the frosty bait, which can then be used to catch the northern salmon in the deep north biome. So we've talked about the main progression line for fish in the game, starting with perch, but what about pike and tuna? Well, mixing pike with a serpent trophy will give you the heavy bait, 
which can be used to catch coral cod in the ocean biome. Pufferfish will also spawn in the ocean, but you won't be able to use the heavy bait to catch these fish, only misty bait. Following the latest patch at time of recording, Tuna will now take the heavy bait 100% of the time, because as the patch notes state, they spawn in the ocean. So perhaps in the future, the devs will also extend the use of the heavy bait to puffer fish as well. The final new fish we're going to talk about is also the hardest to find in the game, so it's a good job they're not necessary to catch any other types of fish. Combining tuna with a Fenrig trophy will craft the cold fishing bait. This bait can be used to catch tetra, which can be found within frost caves in the mountain biome. If you're lucky, while exploring a frost cave, you may chance upon one of these rare lakes at the bottom of a deep cavern. Note that this rare frost cave type is different to the rare frost cave with the frozen lake and fishing rod that we mentioned earlier. Both are equally rare, with one or maybe two per world seed, but you'll only be able to find tetra in the one without the frozen lake and fishing rod. After checking several dozen frost caves, I finally came across one of these lakes, but in the cramped cavern, I didn't even need the rod or bait. The tetra were doing such a good job of fishing themselves. Hopefully you're now all caught up with the changes to fish and fishing in the game. Please leave a like if you liked and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. You may even enjoy this other Valheim guide I did. But until the next one, have a great day.